Hi, nice to see you. My name is Ben Brill, and this video is about the intonation of the Lug guitar. So the short story is that uh, in my first video about Lug guitar quality, I, I discovered that it's good. This video is kind of a shootout between my thousand dollar classical handmade Spanish guitar, then a Lug Pro, and we'll also throw in a quick Lug Mini and Lug Pro Electric. What is intonation, in case you're wondering that? It is how well a guitar is in tune with itself, basically. If a guitar has very bad intonation, uh, things might sound good down here, but as soon as you start playing on the higher frets, everything will be out of whack and just sound really nasty. Uh, this is a pretty geeky video for guitar players who want to be sure that they're getting a really quality instrument for their grandchild or their child or, um, or even if you want to have one for yourself. So I'm choosing to focus on this Lug instead of the others because uh, this one is an acoustic guitar. It doesn't have the adjustable bridge like the electric does. So you, you kind of have to hope that it's just a well set up and good guitar out of the box. And I'm also thinking that this guitar is more likely to be played by the older kids who are, I'll usually teach some stuff higher up on the fretboard. Uh, and that's when the intonation is more relevant. All right, friends, let's get into it here. Uh, I'm going to be using just a decent quality condenser microphone here for good accuracy of sound. Uh, it's a wonderful mic, MCA SP1. To keep things as efficient for you as possible, I'll just let you hear what it's like by ear for each of these four instruments. Then I'll actually dig into the uh, frequencies of this guitar and then the Lug Pro. We'll hear the E string open, then the 12th fret, and we'll go through the E, B, and G strings. Here's the Lug Pro. And we'll go for the electric. and the mini. All right, now these two are gonna go at it with the actual measurement. What I've got here is a note frequency chart, and we're gonna start with the, uh, the high E string, and I'm going to use a online tuner here. I want to mention here that I'm not a professional guitar technician. I'm a guitar teacher and player. Uh, there might be people who know how to do this better than me, but what I've got here, I think will give us a rough idea of the intonation. Now for actually measuring the intonation, I think the best thing for me to do is give you the harmonic and then the 12th fret. All right, so let's give you the harmonic. All right, we've got a 659.1. And if I press the 12th fret, here's what I've got. 660.9, so off by one or two hertz. Um, no big deal. All right, let's see what the nice classical has to say about its own intonation on that same string. All right, I got 659.2, very nice. And let's hear the 12th fret. 660.2, so it's off by uh, one hertz. Barely detectable difference. I'll just go through the other strings here, the B and G strings in both instruments, and I'll uh, just write out what I find there. Well, there you have it. Uh, here's my chart. This is the final results that I've got here. Um, so I think the, 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 the big picture is that these instruments are pretty darn close, even though there's a big cost difference. The Lug is about, oh, what is it? And remember, the Lug instruments are meant for kids and beginners, so I think that's uh, pretty impressive for an instrument of that um, category. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, plenty of more videos on my channel here. If you're considering picking up a Lug instrument uh, and want to save a couple bucks, um, head on down to my video description. Lug has been really generous to give me a discount code for my subscribers and uh, students. If you're interested in music lessons, I do have occasional availability for virtual students. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day.